Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. This will be a quick one. I wanted to do week 35's weigh in. First, look at my shirt. I mean, not really. I don't really need more caffeine, but I'll never turn it down. <laughs> I'll never turn it down. One day, like, I tried to stop drinking coffee before, but I didn't really find much joy in it. Maybe someday I will. But yes, let's get back to it. So in today's video, we are going to do week 35's weigh-in. So even though I didn't post a weigh-in Wednesday, um, there's been a couple things going on in my family. So short version, we had two unexpected deaths. Like one of my cousins passed away 23 years old. One of my aunts passed away unexpectedly to us. Um, I don't wanna say, I don't know, I don't wanna say why, but medical reasons. So, but it was unexpected and it happened like really fast. So, um, within like, in like two days, I heard she wasn't doing well. She came home from the hospital, I went to go see her. She passed away that night. So, needless to say, there's been a lot going on in my life. And what I wanna share with you guys, first of all, let me do the weigh-in, cause let's do that first. So this week, I weighed in on Monday, January 31st. And again, this is week 35 for me. And I actually gained weight. So this week I weighed in at 228.2. So that is a gain of 2.6 pounds. Those of you that are new, I started this journey at 260 pounds. Now, I do wanna say I am not, first I wanna say I'm not worried. Like I'm not worried and I'm not concerned. There's been a couple things like I mentioned going on and what I do want to say <clears throat> is that if you yourself are on a weight loss or health fitness journey, what I do want to say to you and even to my younger self is that life happens, right? Like life happens and it's not, there's nothing you can do. Like you can't stop things from happening. You can't stop um, traumatic things from happening. You can't stop people from dying. You can't, like you don't have any control over that. All you have control over is you, yourself, right? So what I can say is that I'm proud of myself in the following ways. I had one binge session. Let me tell you guys what I binged on. An extra three ounces of salmon, some almonds, cheese, another salad. Oh, and an apple, with peanut butter. That was my binge. And I know like there's a part of me that felt, initially there was a part of me that felt like, oh girl, like, oh my gosh, you let yourself. But then I was like, no, like, no, it's it's fine. Like in that moment, I didn't want to work out. Like I didn't want to do any of my other coping mechanisms or any of my other good habits. I wanted to gnaw myself with food. That was the drug of choice that I chose in that moment. And I'm just being honest with you guys because I feel like on a lot of weight loss channels, like you see the picture, like you see the picture of where the person loses all of this weight and it's like, oh my gosh, yay, rah, rah. But you don't get to see the truth. Like you, but you don't get to see the truth. You don't get to see those moments when, yeah, even though they lost this amount of weight in this amount of time, was there ever a time in which there was a struggle? And that's what I'm sharing with you guys today. Like, this is the real. If you don't want it, that's fine. You can click off, but I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I had that binge. And after I kind of like felt a little bit of negative self-talk coming in, I was like, no, like I, you're not binging on, I didn't binge on ice cream, I didn't eat sugar, I didn't eat like flour, I didn't eat the things that I was not supposed to eat, the things that I promised myself that I wouldn't eat, you know, because they are true triggers for me. I didn't eat those things. To be quite honest, I binged on a lot of healthy food, right? It did put me in a caloric, like I was not in a caloric deficit, it did put me over, like I had more calories than what I was supposed to eat, but I didn't put crap in my body that will harm me. So I was really proud of that. Now the thing I wasn't proud of, the thing that I'm not proud of from the last few weeks is that I haven't been working out. And there is nothing but a bunch of excuses around that one. Like I could say it was time, but no, there was a couple times where I just watch videos, like YouTube videos when I could have been working out. So it's not about it's not that I didn't have time. Um, it was cold. Mm, girl, like you have a treadmill in your garage. So 
I'm not even buying that one for myself from myself so um yeah there's really no excuses around the working out part but it's just what it is and to be honest another thing too is that i feel like within my body i'm actually going to schedule myself a massage but i feel that i'm carrying a lot of weight like you know sometimes like when you're stressed or you're just going through a lot or just having a hard time i don't know if this is for you guys i'll speak for myself now that i'm more in tune with my body i feel heavier like i feel i feel like my shoulders are like up in my ears because not only is life happening at this speed but i'm still working you know i'm still i'm still taking care of other people there was actually one day where I felt like I love what I do, but it was so hard to put myself together and go physically take care of other people while family members died and my own family was hurting. Do you know what I mean? Like I really had to give myself like a full blown like coaching session. This is real life and I'm just sharing it with you guys. So. Am I worried? Like, do I feel like now I'm gonna start spiraling and start gaining all the weight back? I don't, guys, I don't feel that way. I feel like I had a bad week. Honestly, I feel like I probably had a bad two weeks because this video should have been uploaded on Wednesday. So I'll, here we are, we're going through the next week. So I don't know what next week's weigh-in is gonna be, but I haven't binge, but I haven't measured my food either. I don't know if you guys remember the one video where my scale broke. Y'all, I ordered a new scale. Look, it is still in the box. I haven't even opened it yet. So I do need to start back measuring my food. But I haven't been binging like on sugar or flour or any of that stuff. I was sick for a couple days. I will say I did have some cough drops that were not sugar free. But um, other than that, that's, that's the truth. Like that's what's been going on. Um, I'm motivated now. <laughs> I finally have oh and the other thing too was that I wasn't meal prepping so I was just kind of like making meals as I was going along because I was enjoying my weekends like I went hiking with my boys the following weekend I did the wellness weekend with my girl like I was just really I was being I wasn't being a human doing like I wasn't doing I was being a human being and it was a trade-off that I made and I loved it I needed it so this week I'm recording this video on Saturday. So I'm recording this video on Saturday, February 5th, and now I'm ready to go. Like I'm ready to grind again. So I did my grocery shopping on yesterday, which I'll be uploading that video here. And then I'll do my meal prep tomorrow, Sunday. I'll be sure to film and upload that video. And I'll hold myself more accountable to you guys now that I'm okay. But I wasn't okay before and it happens. <laughs> it happens, but I'm okay now. I'm okay now. So yeah, this week I gained 2.6 pounds. Um, I don't know what next week's gonna show. I'm just gonna start back trying to get back in the groove of things and yeah, get back on the right track. So that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.